Huh. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more in car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know that former pro football player Icky Woods will celebrate almost anything? Uh-uh. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Oh, 44, that's me! Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 44, ladies, that's me! Woo! Cold Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. Number 44. That strange plot to poison the Speaker of the House, the man second in line for the presidency. A bartender from John Boehner's country club in his home state, Ohio, has been arrested for threatening to murder the Speaker. ABC's Pierre Thomas in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, George. The suspect appears to be mentally ill, but the FBI believes he was a serious threat to the Speaker of the House. Authorities say Michael Hoyt believes he's Jesus Christ and that Speaker John Boehner is the devil. The 44-year-old was a bartender at this country club near Boehner's hometown in Ohio for the last five and a half years. After he was fired last October, Hoyt dialed 911. He hung up, but when police responded to his home, he gave a chilling account. He allegedly told them he was going to kill Boehner because Boehner was mean to him at the country club. Hoyt later admitted to the FBI he had been thinking about poisoning Boehner's drinks, but was fired before he could do so. He also claimed to police he contemplated shooting Boehner with his semi-automatic Beretta pistol. The day before calling 911, Hoyt allegedly sent Boehner's wife an email. Quote, if I had any intention of hurting Mr. Boehner, I could have poisoned his wine many, many times. Boehner's wife responded, what is this about? Contacted by the FBI, Boehner said he remembered Hoyt but did not recall any confrontations. Tuesday, he declined comment. Hoyt has now been charged with threatening to murder the Speaker of the House and has been receiving psychiatric evaluations. It was clearly a close, close call for the man second in line for the presidency, a mentally unstable man serving the Speaker of the House drinks with bad intentions, Robin. All right, Pierre. I'm live from Columbus, Ohio. We start with two breaking news stories tonight on terror. One here at home and one abroad. First, a plot to attack the United States Capitol. Federal authorities have filed charges against an Ohio man who wanted to plant pipe bombs at the U.S. Capitol and then lie in wait to shoot employee as they came out of the building. The man's name is Christopher Cornell. He was reportedly seeking an alliance with the terror group ISIS. The feds say that just today he bought an M15 semi-automatic assault rifle like this one to use in the attack. After that, the FBI moved in and arrested him. Authorities say he was under investigation the entire time. The government learned of his plans from his own social media accounts. And officials are saying tonight that Cornell never posed a danger to the public. 